I'm Kristen O'Brien. I'm an associate professor of biology at the University of Alaska in Fairbanks. I'm Paula Dell. I teach high school science in Chicago, Illinois at Lindblom Math and Science Academy. I'm a comparative fish physiologist and biochemist, and we study mostly, most of our work is focused on understanding adaptations that have arisen in Antarctic fishes during their long 10 to 12 million year evolution at cold temperature. One really um, terrific element of having Paula with us is that it enabled us to reach and interact with communities beyond our own home, beyond those uh, from our home institutions, number one. Two, uh, because our collaboration continued beyond our field season and some of, student, some of Paula's students came up to my lab at the University of Alaska, I had this very rich experience working with high school students from Chicago. So it's been a very rewarding experience and it, 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 as I said, it helped disseminate information about our own research project and Paula did a great job making our research understandable to the general public, which is not always an easy thing to do. So she was a liaison for us. So one thing I remember uh, is we video conference with students from Lindblom. The first time we did that uh, at Palmer Station and the students were just so engaged in learning about the environment and learning more about what we were doing. They had so many questions, it went hours beyond yeah. what we had, we had originally planned for. And then we had Kids more. Kids who missed it right. wanted to do it again, so. Kids were staying after school to yeah. hear more about it. So that was really, really thrilling. I, I think more than anything, what I've seen in the students is it sort of spurred them to start doing some research. So just a week before I came up here to Fairbanks, I got a link from one of my students in my marine biology colloquium on the Ossidax worm and how they found the first whale carcass in Antarctica. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't even read this story yet. She's already e emailing this and saying, hey, can we bring this up? And So it really spurred them on and um, to do their own research and find out some more, which is great. I mean, that's what you want. You want them to go out and figure their stuff out. And my sense with talking them, with them over the video conference was that <clears throat> they already knew a lot. You know, they, I don't know if you had covered things before you came to the Antarctic, but they were reading your blog and they were already very aware of, of what kind of, what was going on and what kinds of research we were doing so that they could ask really good questions. For a number of years, I've had an ROV, Remote Operated Vehicle Club at school, that was in partnership with MATE, Marine Advanced Technology Education, and the Shed Aquarium, and we have competitions, and they build small vehicles out of PVC pipe and little bilge pump motors, and um, Kristen and Lisa and I were talking about this, and she's like, wouldn't that be great if your kids could build something for us? And so we are currently building, we can't really call it an ROV because it's going to be pulled by the boat. Like this is a, next year, 2015, <laughs> we'll make the remote one. But right now it's basically they did a ton of research on pressure and materials and design. And they're building just a small cage, really, with a camera that can go down underwater up to 1,000 feet with the light. And they have different angles. Like they've researched all this. So that's our plan to... to put that on the boat so they're actually part of the research. Mm -hmm. I heard little bit like when I came back I heard little stories of kids that weren't even my students like the word had kind of circulated around school and so a couple teachers I can think of one kid in particular who every day would come to this one teacher and was watching the site and asking and when when I came back I still talk to her about it I mean she's still mm -hmm. we chat about it and she comes in and so it was you know sent a little stream through the school and had people asking the kids, some of the mm -hmm. staff, teachers around the district. And I, I think my favorite story is though the one that just happened, which was, uh, so the two students that came from Lenbaum to work at Alaska were Ola Lare Ola Wale and Isabel Raimondo. And uh, so they came, were here last summer in Alaska. They worked on a, a research project related to Antarctic fishes for three weeks. We put together their project, we made a poster so that they could present it at their high school, and they entered it in a biotechnology conference uh, this spring. 
And the winning prize was a $7,000 prize. And I was talking with them over Skype and asked them, wow, what are you guys going to do with $7,000? I said, are you going to go to Hawaii? And they both chimed in immediately, no, we're coming back to Alaska. <laughs> so clearly, like, they had really enjoyed doing research, and they were, wanted to spend that money to come back and do more work in the lab, which I thought was, was pretty neat.